Good morning, St. John's. Father Kurt here after some momentary te technical difficulties, it looked like, but I guess, I hope that we are on live now through the St. John's website and or Facebook. We'll certainly find out after this uh, production whether or not <laughs> we're actually on the air. We may not be, but at any rate, today is March the 26th of 2020, which also happens to be the birthday of my seven-year-old now nephew, Hayes, who lives down in Alabama. So happy birthday, Hayes. Have a good time with your sister, Bramley, and your parents. Um, be good. I'm sure you're perfectly fine. Um, what have you done today, St. John's? I went out early this morning to go get some paper products. I stood in line at a grocery store and uh, on the way in was behind two other people and we were all frantically racing to that particular aisle where certain paper products were. Uh, this shows you how much of a theology nerd I am. Uh, I was reflecting <laughs> during this whole experience of um, that first Easter morning when Mary Magdalene uh, went to the tomb and um, she didn't recognize the risen Christ right away. And the reason I think of that, and I think of that passage a lot, but strangely enough, I thought about it this morning because I got to the aisle where I knew this particular paper product was or would be under normal circumstances, went down the aisle with everybody else, and all we could see were bounty paper towels and Kleenex, you know, facial tissues and whatnot, but we couldn't find that one particular paper product that we all desired. And there was some grumbling, and I'm certain there were some profanities um, uh, uttered, uh, even from some of the other people. And... Um, and they all left, and then I went to another aisle to see if I could find what I was looking for. And then I said, well, you know, what the heck? Um, let me just go back down that aisle and see if I could find the paper product. And so I started walking more slowly down the aisle and was a little more attentive to what each box was. And it turns out I found this very, this narrow niche if you will, with the paper product I was looking for, but it wasn't the brand um, that I was expecting, um, but I bought it anyway. But what happened, everybody else had, had left and they passed it over because they were in a hurry and there's that added level of anxiety. Um, and so they got, they got angry and left. And I, I guess I got kind of lucky and I'm sure other people went back, back down that aisle too, especially when they later looked in my cart and was like, what is that? Where'd you get that? Um, but it's just this notion of, of slowing down, uh, being very attentive to what's in front of us, and then finding what, what we need, even though it didn't look like um, exactly what we were expecting, the, the package, the labeling, if you will. Um, and maybe that can be a comparison to what Mary Magdalene experienced at first Easter morning. Resurrection looked different. Um, so she didn't recognize it at first until it actually, until he, the risen Christ, spoke to her. So who knows? That may be uh, a perfectly good analogy. That may be a horrible analogy. I don't know. But now we'll pray an order of service for noonday, beginning on page 103 of the prayer book or you may download the bulletin from Facebook, this Facebook post, or uh, the website. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning to page 104, let us recite together Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. 
From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. On page 106, a lesson from 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour, you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time, and you may make a comment on Facebook or on YouTube so that others may pray your request in a later time. Lord, we pray for those in government leaderships, uh, leadership that they may make proper decisions for the health and well-being of the human race. We pray for those who are in health care, watching over those who are sick. We pray for those who have been infected uh, by the coronavirus that they may be healed and cured quickly. We pray for those who are suffering other ailments, um, which still need treatment uh, at this time and moving forward. We pray for this community of St. John's. We pray for Saginaw, the county of Saginaw, all the surrounding communities in which the people of St. John's live. We pray for the state of Michigan, the United States, as well as the entire world. We pray for first responders. Lord, give us grace and comfort at this time. Uh, help us to focus on what is immediate so that we can also um, take into consideration what is good for the long run. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, if you like to make a prayer request, uh, you may do so on uh, Facebook or on YouTube and comment sections there. Um, uh, St. John's folks will see you tonight, hopefully, if you can, for a check-in. If, if you've not done a check-in yet, um, at 7 o'clock or 7.30, 7.30, I'll send out the email this afternoon. I also know that our Walk in Love group, which is hosted by Amy Simons, is meeting as well, virtually. I will get out the uh, the bulletin, the Sunday bulletin, uh, pretty soon. So that can be uploaded for our Sunday morning worship at 10.30. And if you've not signed up for the email list, Yet, you may go to the um, St. John's website, stjohns-saginaw.org, and go to the Connect section, sign up for the emails. I'm sending out something 
uh, every morning. And so uh, let's continue to stay connected. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you again in person, uh, whenever that may that may be. I'm not sure yet, but we'll pray that it's uh, sooner rather than later. So love you all and take care. God bless.